Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. In this speech, I would like to explain to you why smart standard parts become absolutely mandatory in future and how they can increase the efficiency within your dyes and the whole production. But first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Stefan Leist. I'm working at Fibro Standard Parts. We are based in southern Germany, acting globally as a standard part supplier for tool making, system engineering and mechanical engineering. After seven years in Fibro product management department at our headquarter, I collected working experience at our location in China. And now I am back in Germany facing the global challenges of efficient dye making and sheet metal forming. 2020 is a special year for all of us, but in particular in the automotive industry. The effects are extreme. We are talking about a historic collapse with far-reaching consequences for the entire industry. That is why I would like to start with an overview about the global vehicle market. This diagram gives an outlook on the development of the numbers of new vehicles sold worldwide within the next few years. There are two scenarios. The blue line shows the basic scenario and the orange line shows the worst case scenario. Based on this forecast, we can assume that it will take at least until somewhere between the years 2023 and 2024 when the vehicle market will reach a similar level to 2019. This development leads to free production capacities at the OEMs. As a result, they will insource their business from the suppliers into their own press shops. Due to the free capacity at the Tier 1 and Tier 2 automotive suppliers, the cost pressure will increase dramatically. Besides the vehicle market development, there are also some ongoing social changes which lead to technological changes. Developments that we all together in the sheet metal industry have to face. For example, ecological footprint and increasing individualism cause new principles of transportation and more and more complex vehicle designs. With the increase of vehicles with alternative drive technology, one aspect is getting more important. You have to save weight. The body in white of a transportation vehicle combines both points. Customer firstly see the design of a model and decide if this is something they can identify with. Then customers take a deeper look into the technical data like for example range or energy consumption. So the biggest impact of the purchasing decision is the design. There is the biggest challenge. After the design is fixed, technical engineers are challenged to fulfill the further requirements like energy consumption. This picture shows the complexity we are faced with in the industry. Within state-of-the-art sheet metal concepts, engineers have to consider every single part of a body in white assembly by reflecting the following aspects. Is this part relevant for the passenger safety? How can various parts be assembled and joined with other parts? Can a sheet be formed into the wished way to fulfill the requirements of the design? How does the chosen material impact on the complete tolerance chain concept? So technical engineers are faced with requirements for a modern car that are partly contradicting. Complex designs cause sophisticated manufacturing principles which might increase the manufacturing costs. And lightweight concepts are in conflict with passengers' comfort and the safety of a vehicle. As a result, the technical engineers are facing those challenges with new material concepts. And the new material, like carbon fiber parts, high tensile strength steel sheets, hot stamped tailor planks, 
aluminium, magnesium or titanium alloyed sheet metals are all aiming for the same. Less material used to save weight and at the same time maintaining the mechanical stability of the passenger cell. In the end, one question remains. Where should this weight be deducted? Weight is density multiplicated with the volume. Modern sheet metals influence this formula on both variables. But if one deducts the density and the volume of a material, it needs at least the same tensile strength that the critical parts of the body in white structure can still guarantee a state-of-the-art passenger safety. So we have following main effects for the press shop. Thinner sheet metal with higher yield strength. To meet the requirements of future body in white concepts as toolmaker and their supplier, we have to consider to use materials with higher yield strength in combination with reducing the number of single parts. More complex stamping dies will increase the risk that their availability might decrease. During time of just-in-sequence production, a press shop cannot risk that the availability of a stamping die decreases. The die needs to be in perfect condition when the production planning department of the press shop wants to start the production. Let's take a closer look at possible reasons why a stamping die might not be ready for production. One stamping die consists of a huge amount of standard parts, but we can roughly split them into three categories which have the biggest impact during a production process. For example, we have the guiding elements. They are responsible for an excellent repeatability, breaststroke after breaststroke. Then we have the cutting elements. They trim all the materials away, which is not part of the finished, deformed part. And last but not least, we have the gas springs. They have to transfer bending and drawing forces through the blank holder into the sheet metal part. They are responsible for a repeatable and controllable deformation process. To choose the right amount of gas springs with the right force is mandatory for the stability of the drawing or bending application in your stamping die. If the gas spring will lose pressure because of natural circumstances or wear, the complete stamping application will lose its reliability. This will lead to the situation that the press shop will lose its main requirement, which is with every single stroke of my press, I want to produce a good part, which I can sell to my customer. Let's take a look at a solution which can guarantee that the gas spring will not be the reason that the press shop is in conflict with unplanned situations. Here is a possibility with which you can take a look into the future. The times you have to use your crystal ball or read into tea leaves are over. This lately developed pressure measuring system will tell you when you have to check your stamping die. Let your stamping die help you automatically guarantee your planning security for your pressure production. Simply listen to your standard parts. Here you can see an example of how this works. The gas spring will directly report pressure data and temperature data periodically via a web server into your manufacturing executive system. The system will decide what to do. Based on mathematic analysis, you can have a date certain forecast about the maintenance interval of your stamping die. Collect the needed data directly from the parts which are responsible for the quality of your stamping die. Understand the details to improve the whole thing. With such kind of concepts, you are able to save 90% of the gas spring specific press time. Again, you can save 90%, 90% 90 
press down time with such kind of a smart data-based technology. Additionally, we made the experience that you can also save 20% of the maintenance time because the stamping die tells you when exactly support is needed. To meet future challenges and customer requirements of new vehicle concepts, it helps to break down from the complete body in white assembly to the single sheet metal parts. From the single sheet metal parts we go deeper into the manufacturing process and analyze how we can keep process stability and availability of the further and further more complex stamping dies. It's mandatory to use sensor technology in the right area in combination with smart data concepts. This supports your company through predictive maintenance to improve your planning capability in a future oriented way. According to my experience, only companies with an excellent and long-term planning capability can fight crashing economy situations and are able to increase price competitiveness at the same time. Having in mind that our solutions for upcoming difficulties, I do look with full enthusiasm into the future and I would like to invite everybody who was participating in this speech to the questions and answering session later. Thank you for your attention and stay healthy.